Hello, my name is Jody Ann Johnson. I'm the CEO of Miami's Action Coach Business and Executive Coaching Firm and your host for Business Spotlight South Florida, where we interview business owners that make South Florida great. Today, I have the pleasure of interviewing Becky Campbell of B4 Media Production. Becky, can you tell us a little bit about your business? Sure. Uh, first of all, thank you for inviting me to come on your show. It's super awesome. Uh, yeah, our business is an audiovisual production company. And what that means is we rent out equipment and put on events like corporate events or festivals, things like that. During the pandemic, we got into podcasting and uh, oh. Wi-Fi and Zoom calls and all of those types of meetings also. So we're growing. <laughs> wow, Becky, because you no, know, I, uh, I, a question for you was given your business model, what were the opportunities and challenges during the pandemic? And you just kind of spoke to that. So we'll, we'll come back to it. Cool. It, you have a great phrase on your website, Becky, and it's very much like a mission statement. Be bold, be, cre be brave, be creative, be excellent. These are the actions that drive us to place you our customer before anything else. Very clever. We have Thank B you. and the <laughs> number four. Yes, so tell us, uh, tell us what, what drove you to start your business and where did you come up with the design of this statement, this kind of mission <laughs> statement? Uh, well, I've been in production for 27 years now, I think. So uh, that just being working with other companies that do exactly what we do now, um, it kind of drove me to start B4 Media. And I had a lot of people that would come to me and ask, you know, do you guys do this? Do you rent production? Do you also run sound? Do you also, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, I've got a little frog today. Uh, and, and that type of thing, you know, and wanting to make sure that client was well taken care of and done, everything was done with excellence. And I'm a little bit of a control freak. So, <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, most business people are right. Um, and uh, that it just kind of always stuck in, you know, the side of my mind, just like, maybe I should do this. And then one year it just, I was, you know, assessing what I wanted to do the next year and where I wanted to go, continue touring, or if I wanted to uh, start a company or work for another person, you know, kind of deal. And I thought, you know, why not? Why not start it? Like the least, you know, the worst that could happen is I end up in the situation I'm in right now, which is working for someone else. Right. And the best that could happen is it's successful and we do amazing things for clients. And that's what we've been able to do. So when did you start your business, Becky? Uh, in 2008. Wait, okay, sorry. So in 2018. <laughs> I added 10 years. It feels like it. <laughs> <I'm> sure. <laughs> you sound like me when I started my business. I'm like, how hard could it be? Yeah. <laughs> On one level, I was like, you know, like you, I'm willing to go take this, this uh, risk because being an entrepreneur is pretty risky. Yes, ma'am. And another part of me was like, I had no idea what I was talking about <laughs> all at the same time, right? Yeah, there's still days I don't, you know, but it's someone knows. So that's yeah. my mission is to find those people and, and network with them and, and become better at business and hopefully not end up belly up. <laughs> How many people are on your team? Uh, we have 10 regular people that we work with. And then uh, we use a bunch of pools of freelancers because we mm -hmm. work all over the country and- uh, Oh, you do? And things like that. I yeah, didn't realize we... it was all over the country. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a huge. I had client Unearth Vintage that did local, but they didn't, they were not countrywide. Yeah. Yep. It's a different dimension, a different di uh, dynamic, right? It, it definitely is. But we've been really privileged to be able to work with some great crews all over the place and uh, just people that I've run into over the years, you know, of touring and doing things like that. I've stayed in contact mm -hmm. with them. So we have some really great people nationwide. <laughs> Wonderful. So who's an ideal client for your company? Oh man, that's, that's all over the board, really. Uh, it just depends Give on what an example. you want to do. Um, we do a lot of corporate event work. Uh, so galas and things like that, award shows, um, okay. corporate 
meetings, you know, and uh, things for your corporation. So if you come in and you rent a hotel room and do a ballroom and that kind of stuff and, you, you know, would have, do everything else, we would do all the production for those things. So those are our ideal clients, uh, breakout rooms, sessions, all those things that come with okay. those weekends, you know, that you do with your shows mm -hmm. or with your clientele and your employees. Like we help you from, you know, conception of that to the execution of it. Um, and then as far as corporate event type stuff goes, you know, we also have a team that we work with that does the more in depth, like the food and, you know, the name tags and that kind of stuff, since we do production. So I do have mm -hmm. other people that do the rest of those things as well. So you um, coordinate them. Yes, ma'am. So that that's probably our ideal client. Um, because I do live sound on the side, uh, I prefer festivals and outdoors and those types of, you know, fun, let's get a hundred bands and let's go kind of thing. It's just <laughs> that, that that's a little bit more up my alley. Um, but uh, yeah, I've, I've also dipped my toe into the corporate world of production as well, which I love as much. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's interesting. It's uh, our clients are all over the board you know, but those are our main two things that we do. Well, you spoke to this in, early in this conversation about like, in the pandemic that you went into podcasts and web uh, webinars and things like that. So say a little bit about that. Are you still doing that? Um, not too much. Actually hooking up my laptop to do this, I had to make sure my Zoom was up to date because it's been a, a minute, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, during the pandemic, I was probably doing a Zoom call or three or four a day. Um, just trying to do some trainings online, actually training people to do Zoom, even on Zoom, which know, is right? kind of fun, right? And uh, I had to learn a lot more than I thought that I needed to know to, to be able to get multiple people on the screen and, you know, different things and then recording all of that. Um, and then doing like hybrid meetings as well. When we started opening yeah. up, I'm actually still doing hybrid meetings, which is great. So more of your clientele's can, you know, see what's going on in, and maybe they're not comfortable traveling yet still, or, mm -hmm. you know, we've all been slammed this year <laughs> with things opening back up. So a lot of it is these people can't make a meeting in Florida, you know, so they're, they're jumping in online, uh, to do their trainings or whatever. So we provide all of that, um, still and and it's growing which is great it just it's become another uh way that people can get information so it's yeah. become part another of division yeah. yeah what would you say is the biggest business challenge today for you and and what's ahead for your business in the next two or three years ah uh, that's the that those are always fun to to think about, you know, and try to plan and uh, get more goals and new goals. Uh, and, and as it changes, production changes a lot too, you know, as things grow because technology changes every day. So as far as looking ahead, it's keeping an open mind is a mm -hmm. really big thing. Um, like these hybrid events, you know, I, I, 10 years ago, you asked me if I do a hybrid event, I would have said, absolutely not, you know, and <laughs> now I'm like, yeah, absolutely. You know, and then the purchasing of new equipment and everything to stay on point and to stay relevant and, and top notch, you know, you've got to make sure your equipment is top notch, you know, and that type of stuff. So those are goals that we're always looking at, you know, is to make sure our inventory is where you need it to be as a client, you know, and mm -hmm. to make sure that you can get all the most excellent things you can get out of a production. Um, so, so that's a big goal of ours is to make mm -hmm. sure we stay on top of technology. Um, I'm sorry, the first part of your question you oh, asked was, me. What, what's the biggest business challenge today? And then <laughs> you know, what are you, what's ahead for you? And I'm married to a geek, so I know you have to update your stuff about every two years, right? Something like that. Maybe a little less sometimes. Maybe yeah. a little less yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It just all depends. You know, I mean, I'm, I could get into geek speak here a little bit, but, you know, I mean, just like you do at home, if you've got a TV and, you know, a couple of years ago, it used to be a square box. Now it's a long one, you know, and it's 16 by nine or it's 4k mm. or 8k or, you know, all this stuff changes all the time. And, uh, it, it's our goal to stay on top of that for you. So the client doesn't have to worry about <laughs> all so those you things. Have do you have inventory that you have and then update that inventory? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So as a business coach, my next question is, what do you do with your expired inventory, if you will? 
Yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of places online that you can sell the used equipment. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a couple of people that uh, work with me that are up and coming and they can use that for local stuff and little oh, things, you know, yeah. so I'll sell it off to some of my employees too, if they want it or, or whoever. And some of it, it's just upgradable, you know, so right. we keep the computer for four years, you know, and, right. and upgrade. So, yeah. Yep. Okay, good. All right. I have another question. What's inspiring you most about your business today? growth actually, which is great. Um, we're in a season in Florida where it's really busy, which everybody knows. Um, and I'm getting phone calls every day. I'm at the point right now where we're turning away some, which, which I hate to do and I don't want to do, but I know that if we can't do it in an excellent manner, I won't. You yeah. Know. Because that's part of your, of your yes, statement. Right. And that's really <laughs> a core piece. You know, it's, I'm going to ask you like, Say a little bit more about this, but Simon Sinek says that people don't care what you do or how you do it. They care why you do it. So why do you mm -hmm. do what you do? Because I love it. <laughs> I, I do. I, I love everything about it. It's I love the intensity of it. I love trying to pull something off that most people can't. Um, you know, I loved the look on my clients' faces, you know, when we do what we do excellently. Mm -hmm you know, and, and just to make their lives easier is such a goal of mine too. So it's, um, yeah, we can do that. We've, we've got that covered. You do what you're great at and I'll do what I'm great at. And we'll make this an awesome event, you know, <laughs> really great. <laughs> and so what's been the most significant learning that you've had since you started your business? I feel like I learn every day, <laughs> you know, um, getting, all the LLC stuff up and running and then moving mm. into an S corp and, you know, CPAs and bookkeepers. I've learned all of that in the process of starting this, you know, I'm not by natural trade, a business person. I didn't go to business school. So uh, it's a lot of learning for me and I love it. I'm, I'm, I've realized the more I don't know, the more I want to know. So mm -hmm. that's kind of cool. And during the pandemic, being able to take some business courses online and, you know, some coaching courses too have really helped. So I think uh, one of the things I've probably learned the most is just staying connected with clients and networking and being personable is probably one of the things I never thought was a business deal. You know what I mean? It's like mm -hmm. you do business. It's like cookie cutter. It's better to do this, do that, but it's not, it's networking and it's being able to trust your client and your client trusting you. And I don't think that works unless you're personable with each other, you know? Yeah. It's easy to work with. Right. Yeah. Good. So as we wrap up the interview, is there anything else that you want to share? Anything else you want us to know? <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if you don't know if I can run your event uh, or something that we can provide for you. Uh, give me a call. Let's talk about it. You know, uh, mm -hmm. I think that's something I always want everybody to know it is I'm, I'm not the end all, you know, to a production. There's a thousand of us out here and somebody might be better suited for your production than we are. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm willing to say, hey, here's 20 other people that do this better than I do. Uh, mm -hmm. if we're not the right person, you know, and let's share and grow together and learn how to do it better, you know, with each other. Well, this is absolutely that sense of being a, an honest business owner that's going to serve you really well. You know, I know from my own self, sometimes I'll say, I'm not the right coach for you. I'm not the right executive coach for you. Um, here's some other resources, because it's all about, as you said, taking care of the customer and putting them first. Yeah. Right? So if you want to know more, about Becky's business, you would go to B, the letter B, for the number four, mediaproduction.com. And That's then right. you can see the kinds of events and work that Becky does. Becky, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for your time uh, and the you difference so you make both for your clients and for our community. And um, with that, we'll wrap up. Thank you, Thank so, you so much. much. Yeah, Business Spotlight, interviewing the business owners that make South Florida and Miami. Great. Appreciate your time, Jenny.